Hey everybody, Chris Strucker with Digital Horizons. I'm with Scott Johannes. We are in our Experience Center in Brainerd, Minnesota, and we are doing uh, another video narration. Uh, in this one, we're going to discuss a conference room install we did for a, a local construction firm in the area. Um, this room was a little bit different than most conference rooms. We actually installed something called a video wall. Uh, and what a video wall is, it's a in this configuration, it was a two by two uh, grouping of 55 inch TVs. So together diagonally, they were 110 inches, but it's actually four separate displays. And we'll go into a little bit about why that's important. But the primary reason is it can be used with without any worry of ambient lighting. Um, and uh, because there's four separate screens, they have a lot of flexibility on what they can put up on the screen, either four different computer screens, or they can take one image and blow it up to the, the full 110 inch. So um, it, it's it's a really, really flexible solution. And uh, Scott's gonna start the video here and we'll, we'll, we'll start the walkthrough. So this is this is probably the hardest part of the install, which is making sure it's level and, and it starts yeah. with measuring. You got to make sure you're actually centered first. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, the biggest problem you run into with this is the wall. You, mm -hmm. you look at a wall and you go, oh, that's a flat wall. It looks flat right now, right? <laughs> well, the curve. I, of yeah, it. no, I know. <laughs> it looks about like it was in real life, actually, because yeah. the wall has a slight dome to it in the middle. Yep. So. Uh, you have to take all that into consideration when you're mounting this. Uh, you know, this it's four individual mounts, four individual displays, and they have to. It has They've to all got to look dead on in the middle to make it look like one big flat wall. Yep. Um, if they're off just by a hair, it affects all yep. all the surrounding displays. So. And these aren't normal mounts, are they? There's something something special no, they're about them. Specific mounts for video walls. They've got all sorts of adjustment knobs and tweaky points on them. Horizontal, for, lateral shift, yep, and every dimension you can think of if you want to twist it if you want to tilt it you want to push it straight out and back when it's locked in well and the important thing is probably the most important thing about the mount is because it pulls straight out it For, gives access to connections and everything behind right, it to and we show more of that later yeah yeah they, they actually have a locking mechanism on the back that you can twist it'll pop out it pulls out about another 10 inches which allows you to get over it or under it yep. either way to get to the back of the display, take the display off, whatever you have to do, throw yep. it back on. Now, what hardware do we, did we use as the backbone of the video wall system? Uh, for the video? We're, yeah, so we're putting oh, mounting them. Uh, Crestron's wall. NVX, uh, basically IP-based uh, video system. Um, it actually worked out really well because, you know, as you can see those boxes back there, they're fairly thin. They can get mounted back inside behind the display. Um, it configuration is actually pretty easy on it, but it's very reliable and it's switches quick. It, it switches almost instant. Yeah. It's, it's very impressive. And what you can't see here is in the back of the room and the cabinets is where all the components are. What, right. what, what were, what were the sources available? The, the things that they could view on the wall? Uh, they had a satellite box. They had, uh, a rack mounted PC that had four individual video or HDMI outputs. So four different monitors, four basically. Four different monitors, essentially, yeah. So they could have four different things going on or blow it up into one big yep. display. Um, they've got a Crestron Air Media uh, AM200, is it? Yeah, it's a wireless presentation yeah, wireless system. wireless presentation right? system, which they actually use quite often. It's like the main thing they use, yeah. yeah. And then there's also the old standby you know, HDMI port. In the, yeah, you can see it just on the bottom. The, yeah. Of the <laughs> Actually, our, we may be covering it right now, but in the floor, there's a, just a standard guest command they can plug in and yep. HDMI connection. Right. So it's, uh, they got a few options anyway. Crestron touch panel in the back gives them option to just click and drag whatever they want to configure to the, the two by two window. So, I mean, it's, it's super easy. They can come in and just hit, I want There's PC. some presets, I think, there's that were presets set up. in there for, you know, the PC has one big screen or the PC in a quad view. Um, you know, the other, the other, the other sources come up just in a full, full screen view, but then they can go into an advanced page and they can literally just say, I want PC three to the lower left. I want PC one in the upper right. I want the air media in the lower right. I mean, and then the can, football game in the bottom yeah, left. Exactly. <laughs> they can pick which audio source they want to, you know, they could be having a meeting while, you know, listening to the football game right. in the back if they really wanted to. Yep. 
But uh, I think this room is primarily used for the project managers to get together. Well, they do company meetings, yeah. but then a lot of project managers come in here with multiple computers and they collaborate together to work on bids and estimates and plan things out. Right. And so a lot of time it's just one person showing one image. But then if Mark or Joe or Fred or Sally want to throw their thing up there, they have that flexibility of having four screens at right. once. And instead of trying to turn their laptop, look at each other, they just, it's up on the screen. Right. And they can easily share wirelessly. They can just say, well, right. hey, I want to show something. And they, they send it to the AM200 yep. and boom, it's there. Now this is, this is the, the fun part, right? Well, that we're still we're still getting the Making final connections. connections on the back of the TV because we had you know power communication, we had video, um, and all the connections that we had kind of prepped as you saw before. I had all the wires routed, but now we have to get them all fastened and on there. So when you move them in and out, you're not binding cables, yep. or pinching, yep. things like that. So it, it takes a little bit of time to get it all set up. But and again, like most of these videos, it it seems like it goes by. Like this, this took, this took, it was like a two day, this two day like install. a two day install because as soon as you start getting these things up and going, um, you, I mean, we have them up, we're starting to fire them up right now, but, uh, as far as the adjustments and the leveling and stuff, it, it, it takes a fair amount of time to yep. do. And even after that, once you get them adjusted, when you pull a whole row out like that, you put them back. There's, it's not perfect. It's not absolutely perfect. You kind of have to micro adjust it. And, you know, and, the, and these aren't normal TVs. These are. They're a very thin bezel because right. when they're together, you, that bezel is d d multiplied by two because you have the top right. screen's bottom bezel and the bottom screen's top bezel. Right. And the, the more bezel you see when you get into like a full screen picture, the more annoying yeah. it is because you get like the crosshair on right. like you're looking down a rifle scope. Yep. Yep. And, and you know, the more bezel, then there's the text that's there. It gets you have to accommodate it, for yeah, that. You have to, and, you have to yep. compensate for it. And that's one of the benefits of the Crestron MBX is those those receivers that are on there when you're doing a video wall. Mode it's like, like this, pixel by pixel. You can it? you can literally adjust per pixel row, which is crazy to compensate. Yep. So it works out really nice in the end. Uh, makes it makes it in in all respects of it, it makes it easy by doing something like that yep. with the right hardware. Yeah. What do they think of it when it was all done? Oh, they love it. Yeah. They use it all the time. <laughs> they also have a. Uh, uh, not in this video, but at the end we added a pan tilt uh, conference I, camera, conference right? camera yep. USB to the side, so they can come in and turn on their laptop and hook up and do like a Skype call or something, and have have that two way conversation sure. as well. Worked out well. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this type of setup, visit our website, or we have a, a YouTube page with some more of uh, similar installs. Check it out.